recent snow camping video, we showed you how we erect our snow tent. This is a follow up to that video just explaining some of the important things that are involved in preparation and testing before you head out. So one of the most important points about snow camping is know how to erect your tent. It's very important to practice erecting the tent before you head into the snow because the conditions can be very extreme in the Alps. And also it's best that everybody in your group knows how to erect the snow tent in case of emergency because the owner of the tent, they might be injured or something. So in a real emergency, anybody in the group may have to erect the tent. So anybody watching this might be wondering uh, what is the main difference between a snow tent and a regular summer tent? Well, it's simple and there's really only one big difference and that is if I put my hand on top of that tent and try and push down, there's very little movement in the tent. So the reason for that is that the snow tent has very strong poles and a very strong uh, structure to allow for a snowstorm because during a big snowstorm or blizzard, you can literally end up with a foot or more of snow on top of the roof of the tent. So the tent poles need to be able to hold that weight. Whereas a regular summer tent, um, a, a tent designed for hot weather, the tent would collapse in a big snowstorm, but not the snow tent. Melting snow can be hard work. Getting to the bank of a running creek is not always possible in deep snow. Stay tuned for our next video upload. We'll be sharing tips on melting snow for drinking water and also a few tricks on gathering water in the Alps. When you're in the snow, all the water is frozen sometimes so you won't be able to find a running creek uh, so much. But you can actually use the snow itself as a cleaning agent. So just put a bit of snow inside your pot or cup, mix it around with your spoon. The snow can be quite abrasive, particularly if it's icy. A very effective way of rinsing your pots when you don't have water and you only have snow. And just another tip for preparing for snow camping is when you're in your hotel room the night before or in your house it's best not to have the temperature up too high I'll just turn it up just for the point of this so the maximum setting on this heater is 30 degrees but because I'm going into the snow I want to climatize myself to low temperatures so that's where just for the next 24 hours before we start uh, trekking into the snow we will have the temperature set at the low, the lowest 18 degrees. And if we do get cold, we'll just have to rug up with more clothing. I find that if I spend my last few nights sitting next to a heater, it's difficult to adjust to the cold change. And don't carry too much makeup and hair products when you are hiking into the snow. 